I'm here today with Dr. Mary Dingley from the Cosmetic Medicine Centre um, in Brisbane. And we're just going to have a bit of a chat about laser safety and what to be careful as a consumer, like how you know you're going to someone that's been properly trained and going to look after you. So thank you so much for taking the time today. Oh, you're very welcome. So can you tell us a little bit about laser safety around Australia, basically, how the consumer can know that they're going somewhere that, that they're going to be looked after and not damaged in some way? Mm -hmm. Well, the laser regulations do vary very widely across the states of Australia, so there's no uniform regulation. Uh, it's one of the things that we're trying to get together so that everybody will be of a certain standard around the country, but realistically for APANSA, who is the governing body, to get that together, it's going to take many, many years. So at the moment, there are some regulations in states like Queensland, which is where I come from, but say New South Wales and Victoria, there really are no regulations at all as to who can own and operate a laser. So your best bet okay, is to go to someone that you can really, really trust and it's going to take some responsibility for what they do. So if you go to a medical practitioner, a doctor, okay, they have to keep up their standards. Okay? They have to keep their own training and their own um, sort of continuing medical education going, okay? So they are also um, able and must take responsibility for what they do, okay? And let's face it, they need insurance as well, which is going to cover you, the consumer, the patient, okay, in the event of um, something unforeseen happening or whatever, okay? If you can then also look at that individual doctor and see that they are a member of a society or a college like the Cosmetic Physicians College of Australasia, which focuses on those areas of cosmetic medicine, okay, which includes laser treatments and so on, then you know that you're going to see someone whose focus is exactly what you're getting done. Okay, so you're not just going down the street to someone who happens to have a machine that they're going to try and make do the job that you want done. You're going to someone who is going to be able to assess your individual problem, okay, give you advice as to what your options are and have the appropriate equipment to do the job. And if they don't, they have a network of colleagues to whom they can refer. So say if I don't have the particular equipment that is going to do the best job for you, I know that Dr ABC yep. sort of can. in the next suburb does yep. have the right equipment, right. okay, and I can write a letter introducing you to him and away you go. Okay. So basically you can't become a member of the CPCA unless you've actually ticked all these boxes that includes things like that, like making sure that you everything's safe that you're using basically. Yeah. Well we do have different tiers of membership sure. so someone who is a, a fellow like myself has passed certain standards right. okay and then there are some tiers below that of people who are working their way through that okay and we have um, established a training program so that people who would like to get into this area can then come and uh, be trained okay, by people who are experts in that area. Right. All right, so if you've got any doubt whatsoever, um, feel free to drop us an email at info at plasticsurgeryhub.com.au and if we don't know, we will actually contact the um, Cosmetic Physicians College of Australasia and let you know. So thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today.